In the world of web design, small changes can make a big impact. In this tutorial, I'm sharing my three favorite subtle design touches that you can use to make any Squarespace template uniquely yours. We'll be styling your scroll bar, highlighting your selected text, and adding a fresh, colorful look to your links. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and as always, the codes I'm about to share with you are available for free on my blog, but in this video, I'm going to share my screen so I can teach you exactly how to add these codes to Squarespace and how to make them uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and one of the first codes we're going to use today will customize the scroll bar shown here on the right-hand side of the screen. This scroll bar matches the browser that I'm using, but we're going to customize it with code to add our own unique colors. To add this code to Squarespace, we need to navigate to our custom CSS panel. On the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to select Pages, then Custom Code, then Custom CSS. If your website menu doesn't look like mine, press the forward slash key on your keyboard and search for CSS to navigate there directly. This is where we're going to paste the first code that you'll find underneath this video. And instantly you're going to see my content shift just a little bit to the left as the scroll bar is added to the screen. Here's how this code works. We've customized the background of the scroll bar track to be this light blue color. Then we made sure the indicator was a darker color and we increase the width of the scroll bar to 16 px. Watch what happens when we scroll down the screen. Do you see our custom scroll bar on the right hand side of the page? Pretty awesome, right? Now again, we can customize this as you see fit. Maybe you want something smaller, like something that's only eight pixels wide. It's very customizable, not just the size, but the colors as well. And again, the first part is the track that the scroll bar is on. The second part is the indicator of where we are on the page shown here in this darker teal. The next custom code I wanted to add from this tutorial will change the style of selected text. Here on the screen, watch what happens when I highlight the word Squarespace. We're getting the default color of this light blue background. Now if we scroll down here and highlight this section, we'll see that same background color, and it doesn't match the unique color for the brand style of this website. What we're going to do is add a new line of custom code to customize that selected text. Now you can see here the color has changed to a lighter blue and the color of the text has also changed. If we update that code to use the color from our scroll bar, the contrast really isn't very high. So I wanted to change that color to something a little bit darker. And as you can see here, it's very customizable. Background is going to change the background color and color changes the color of the text. Now, last but not least, the third subtle change we're going to make today is for the hyperlinks right here on my website. These hyperlinks are automatically underlined, but nothing's happening when I hover over them. And that's what we're going to change with code. I'm going to enter a new line and paste our hyperlink code here and instantly we'll see some fun changes. The first part of this code is going to change that underlined color. We changed the color to match our unique brand color and we also updated the thickness of the line to be 3px instead of one. You can change this value to something larger, or something smaller, whatever suits the style of your own unique website. I recommend using a darker color for the text decoration color. As you can see here, using our lighter shade of blue really makes it hard to see that underline. So I thought the darker shade of blue or teal would be more ideal for this particular situation. The very last part of this code creates a hover effect. Check this out. When I hover over the text with my cursor, it's going to highlight the entire link. We're changing the background, the color of the text, and removing the underline. You'll notice the color of the text here doesn't actually change in this example because it's already that color, but if we scroll up here, we can see the color of the text change in this particular page section. And again, this only happens on a hover. We're changing the background color, of the entire link, the color of the font, and we're removing that underline. So again, we'll have a link that looks like this until we hover over it with our cursor. Definitely a fun and subtle way to add some of your own creative personality to your Squarespace website. After you've customized all of these codes to suit your own style, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. You'll find all of these codes available on my blog at insidethesquare.co. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, I'll include a direct link to that blog post underneath this video in the description. I'm Becca from Inside the Square, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And if you have a question about Squarespace, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help. Thank you so much for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
Good news, Squarespacer. We finally have an AI that truly understands Squarespace. Meet Custom Cody. Built specifically for Squarespace users and trained on every nuance of the program, Custom Cody is your AI-powered assistant for effortless, expert-level Squarespace customization. Available now at customcody.com.